Welcome to our presentation on Peterson's console rebuilding services for pipe organ professionals. In this slideshow, we'll take you through a process that we have performed dozens of times on large consoles and small over more than 20 years. Our console rebuilding process often begins with a complete but very tired console. Normally, employees of an organ building or organ service firm disconnect the console on site and prepare it to be moved to the Peterson factory. Either the organ firm's staff or Peterson technicians remove outdated parts of the console. Peterson customer service specialists gather details of the specification and other requirements from the organ builder, then follow a systematic approach to create professional documentation used to build and later support each control system. Obsolete electromechanical and electronic equipment is properly disposed of in a legal and environmentally friendly manner. Decisions are made by the organ builder and experienced Peterson staff about which panels should be replaced and which are advisable to reuse. One important part of a complete console rebuild is the renewal of the pedal board or, in some cases, the decision to replace it with a new one. We start at the pedal board rebuild by removing all of the pedal keys. Replacement felt and natural and sharp keys were secured to the repainted key structure in the refinished frame. New springs are utilized whenever possible. Here we show a pedal board with a new set of Peterson low hysteresis reed switch contact assemblies. The pedal key contacts are neat in appearance and highly reliable having been proven over 26 million operations with no failures. When desired, complete stripping and refinishing is expertly done. After cleaning and usually painting or shellacking the interior structure, assembly will begin. Parts such as toe studs, expression shoes, and crescendo shoes are positioned, mounted, and wired. The console really starts to shape up when the complete keyboard assembly is placed in position. Here a beautiful set of OSI keyboards is used, while in other cases Peterson Master Touch 2 keyboards are chosen by the organ builder. A stock of sub-assemblies such as the ICS 4000 satellite card cagers pictured here is prepared in advance ready to go. Control system circuit boards already tested individually under high temperatures, vibrations, and a grueling computerized examination are gathered and assembled in arrangements specific to each pipe organ. The control system is put through exhaustive full system tests to assure perfection. Automated computerized test results are displayed for technicians to review. Custom cabling is plugged together and tested. Console equipment panels are custom sized, often with cutout areas to clear expression shoes. Here a console panel is neatly installed into a suitable location. Remember the appearance we started with? A Z-bracket rocker tablet assembly is built with fixturing for high precision. A completed Z-bracket assembly mounts as one unit from the rear of the name board and is secured with just a few screws. Wood trim is applied to the front. Beautiful new name boards, stop jams, and other panels and drawers are crafted for use on consoles we rebuild and are also supplied to organ builders for their own installation. A cabling specialist uses Peterson's techniques to make our renowned magnet wire cables. With the name board and its cabling now in place, the inside of the console nears completion. This close-up shows just how tidy the cabling can be. The roll top is slid in place and checked for smooth operation. Before and after, what a difference! The console is now reliable, responsive, and beautiful, 
with state-of-the-art control equipment that carries a 10-year warranty. Our console rebuild services provide excellent craftsmanship with top-tier equipment for a remarkably economical and predictable price to organ builders. Why not contact Peterson for more information? Following is a glimpse of a few of the other consoles rebuilt by Peterson. Enjoy!